Hey, here's a mismatch video of my 2024 bunch grape harvest. But I forgot to put mosquito spray on, so go ahead and watch. Okay, harvesting some Carmenara Noir through the net. Two clusters. Okay, here is today's premature Caminari Noir harvest. Um, they're looking pretty good. Not sure what the bricks is. They're probably low, but with all the heat and rain, I gotta get what I can. So here's today's, and we'll probably get some more later this week. I tested the bricks on a few of these grapes, and we're looking at about 18. And some more info here. I got about a third of a pound on this cluster, and they mostly seem to be about this size. Uh, bricks is an ideal. They're capable of more, but uh, in order to salvage some, I will take 18. Um, I don't want to push it and lose all the grapes, so 18 is not bad, but not what it could be. Okay, these are what Lowe's is calling Catawba grapes, but don't really look like Catawba grapes. Um, these are going to stay on for a few more days. These, I'm going to take a few of them, maybe two or three clusters today. And then these. Probably stay for a few more days. Alright, we're looking at some black Spanish clusters that I harvested today. And something was starting to eat this nice big cluster that I had, so I took it before I would have liked to. We're somewhere at around 17, 18 bricks on these, which uh, I'm just going to have to settle for. Because... Uh, Again, something's eating them, so can't have that. And I only have a few of these. It's the first time I've ever had them, so next year hopefully will be better. Black Spanish.
Okay, well, the harvest is going to be uh, coming pretty quickly here because we have a hurricane coming or a tropical storm or nothing. Uh, but what I do know is that I have to get these grapes off the vines, whatever's left. I've been harvesting onesie twosies, but I gotta get most of them now because um, I'm not gonna have time to mess with grapes because I have to watch the storm and possibly prepare my house and worry about more important things. So uh, I'm gonna get most of it done now. Uh, whether the bricks are correct or not, it doesn't matter. I just got to get them off, get them in the freezer, and uh, deal with them later. So, time to get some grapes. Well, whatever happens, this is a beautiful harvest, I must say. I mean, I never thought I would get this much, plus everything I have in the freezer, plus there's more to come. Um, wow. I'm amazed. And uh, definitely blessed. What an awesome view here. Beautiful colors, beautiful flavors. Yum. Okay, one of the last batches of reds here. We got Lamonto, Black Spanish, Camarena Renoir, and what I'm calling Champanel. Let's do some bricks testing. Okay, this is the Ambulo Blanc vine, and I have to harvest it because 
I'm leaving town. And maybe I could leave it, but I don't want to. I'm just going to get it done. Um, they're going to have to be ripe enough. And uh, we'll see how that eventually tastes as wine. It's going to be mixed with my other white variety. And uh, this is a prolific vine. It's also a little raggedy. Uh, some of these clusters are nice. Some of them are a little beat up. I mean, we have options. We have quantity. That's a real nice cluster, but they don't. Li most of them don't look like that. A lot of them just have some rot on it and some undeveloped grapes. This one's really bad looking. I don't know what happened to this one. It peed it out. It peed it out. It died on the vine. It died on the vine. And I don't know what happened to that one, but the one next to it looks nice, or nice enough anyways. But it keeps going and going. I'm hoping next year's going to be a lot better with a stronger vine. Not an ideal time to harvest. We got rain, but uh, I'm just doing it. I'm sure they could be, uh, the bricks level could be higher if I left it, but I'm just not going to. I'm gonna take what I got. I'll leave a few, see how they do, see if they're still here when I get back. But uh, this is it, Ambulo Blanc. Okay, here's where I'm going to stop with the Ambulo Blanc. And I'm gonna leave some on. Sort of a mixture of, well, there's just some of the smaller medium sized clusters I'm just gonna leave on and see how they do while I'm gone. I'm not gonna put the net back up. So they may be here when I get back, they may not be. But this will be sort of a test to see if the animals eat them, see if they get riper, and see if I should have waited for another week here. So I have some to play with. And I'll, I'll, I'll be a little smarter next year, depending on how this goes. So I did some bricks testing on several of these individually. Uh, we have a range from a minimum of 17 and a high of 21. So that's actually better than I was expecting. I thought I'm harvesting these really early and they're going to be low. And, you know, that's not as high as it could be, but higher than I expected. Uh, I've been tasting these. Um, they're, they're not bad. They're just a little bit, uh, they're mild. They're quite neutral, I say, um, compared to something like the Blanc du Bois, which has a, you know, a, a real obvious uh, flavor to it and complexity. These are so far pretty mild. So I don't know if that changes with higher bricks. But that's okay. I don't mind having a neutral white wine grape. If it cranks out lots of grapes, I can always blend it. So, uh, we're still up in the air on this uh, on Boulot Blanc, but I can't uh, complain about the quantity. And uh, like I said, this is all new, and next year may be even better. So. Ambulo Blanc. 
that is mostly it for the bunch grapes. Next round of harvest is going to be a few muscadines to be continued. To sort of summarize the harvest for 2024, uh, it's been mixed, it's been really good. There's been some disappointments, but I cannot complain. I've got uh, a lots of grapes for just being, most of my vines being in the ground uh, in the second season here. So I only have a few more left to go. A couple strays of my, I'm calling them Champanelle still because they do have small seeds. That's what they were purchased as, but uh, it's debatable what they are. Some sort of Munson variety, but uh, it's been really good. Uh, like I said, most things have been harvested already. I have a couple also uh, black Spanish clusters to go. And, uh, you know, I've had some probably what you would call overcropping on the new uh, Pierce's disease resistant varieties. Um, I'm hoping that next year they do better. Uh, they gave me a lot of grapes, but they also gave me a lot of rot and uneven ripening. So. Uh, we'll see if that's part of what the varieties are or if that's just part of the big young vines here. So, um, like I said, can't complain. I got a lot of grapes, probably pushing 20 pounds. So, it's been good. <laughs>